Hello to everyone. My name is Maria Kovac. I am very happy to and pleased to welcome you at the session with our coach, professional coach Alexa Solé, who is going to, uh, to talk today uh, about emotions. Emotion, as you know, uh, are very important for us. Uh, we are accompanying all the time by, by the emotions and um, as we have written in our invitation, emotions are the mirror of our deeds. So they deserve to, to ex expiration to feel good and to give the best around us. That's why um, the objective is, uh, the, of this conference is to give you the tools to find an emotional balance for your well being at work and home. So I would like now to introduce our coach, Alexia Sole. How are you? Hello, Maria. Hello, I'm how are you? Fine. Hello, so, everyone. What is state of mind? What emotion? Oh, what emotion? that's a good question. I am, I am full of joy at joy, 20%. Nice. No, at, no, no fear. No. And I have to admit that I have a 10% fear. Absolutely. Uh, thank you to give me the occasion to say that and to share with you my emotions today because absolutely it's a fear about being comprehensible with my English, uh, being, being uh, comprehensible with my messages. And it's important to me that uh, you are happy with this uh, conference, so... so yeah, yes. with you, Alexa, we will be happy, everything will be all right. <laughs> and of course, if you, uh, if you can sometimes switch into French, you will be allowed to. I suppose that more of the, um, most of, of the, our colleagues uh, know passively uh, French. If there is no a case, then please send a, a message to SMS. But we will be holding this yes. in English, it's always better. So thank you, thank you very much. So I give you a floor and I'm happy to, to, to see all, we have a lot of, we have more than 100, we had, we had all about 200 people registered. So emotions are very important in our life. So thank you. So let's talk about emotions and welcome to all of you and welcome to all of you with all your emotions. Uh, just to introduce myself. Um, so I am Alexia Sole, certified professional coach. I act for well-being and a high level of engagement in organizations. Uh, I graduated with a Master of International Management at Neoma Business School. And uh, I founded my company after 12 years working in mass consumption for global corporations. So today we are going to talk about emotions and we are going to go deeper on emotional energy dimension that we saw in the conference last May, how to boost my energy daily. Emotions, why to become partner with your emotions are so important? Because we will see that emotions are really all the time present in our lives on a daily basis. And um, emotions drive our reactions, our decisions with our brain. So this is very important to identify emotions and so that we can pilot better our reactions and our decisions. But according to our education, experiences in life, according to our personal or work environment, we do or don't authorize ourselves to express emotions. And sometimes we keep them inside us. Sometimes emotions, we are overwhelmed by our emotions. They can scare us and we don't know how to deal with them. Scientific studies show that repressing emotions have negative impact on health and well-being. They can raise fear, anxiety, and sometimes violence. So the intention of this conference is to better equip you 
to become partner with your all your emotions. We'll see the agenda. I am going to share my screen with you. Can you see it? Yes, can you see my screen? Yes. Thank you. So to become partner with one emotions, it's important to take the following step. First is to identify, to recognize your emotion and it's especially the four basic emotion. Then it's important to accept them, to express them, and we will see best practices to express your emotions. And then we will see how to manage emotion. And in this part of the presentation, you'll have the opportunity to elaborate your individual action plan to manage your emotion. Then uh, we will have a time for questions and uh, then conclusion. To start, of course, we are all human beings, which means that we all think with our brain, feel emotion with our heart, and act with our body. This model, head, heart, body, is the consciousness index approach. At every single moment of the day, we think, we act, we feel emotions. Every situation activates inside us three dimensions, three strengths. In our brain, we have thoughts and pictures that raise it. In our heart, we feel emotions, emotions that we undergo and sometimes they invite us. And in our body, we, with our body, we do actions. And these actions are the only external behavior that the others can see. And because we are all unique, the weight of each dimension, head, heart, body, is different for everyone. It depends on our culture, our beliefs, our values. It depends on our experiences in life, on our education, and the work and personal environment. These three dimensions mix each other, generate the big line of our behavior. It represents our automatic operating mode. It's not conscious. For instance, at work, three people receiving the same request from their manager could have different behavior. One person who is more in hurt, in emotion, we need to feel good to start the assignment. Another person who is more in action will start the job straight away. Another person who is more in the head won't act un until he or she have analyzed and examined all the setting of the job. How to recognize an automatic operating mode? We can listen to what, what people say. Someone who is more in the head would say, I think that, I guess that, I'm convinced that, I have noticed that. Someone who is more on emotion would say, I feel, I like, I'm afraid that, I fear that. Someone who is more in action would say, I do, let's go, I have to. All the three, all the three dimensions are linked. To feel in global balance and in global well-being, it would be important that the, these three dimensions are equal. It helps to reach one's high potential by using equally all the three strengths of human beings. When they are not equal, 
it can push us into difficult and painful situations. But it's very difficult but because it's unconscious behavior and it's very hard to get free of that automatic operating mode. The consciousness index, and that's why I show you this model, can help you to get free of that. On a piece of paper, it's just for you. Could you please write what's your predominant operating mode at work? And what's the different percentage when you use your head, your heart? or when you're in action. Just to have this, this look, and you can reflect on, on that um, automatic operating mode that you, that you leave, that you do. Let's go deeper on each emotion. There are four basic emotions. Joy, sadness, fear, and anger. They are uni universal. They are human being birth heritage, which means that whatever our culture, our gender, or education, we feel these emotions. Emotions generate physical and physiological reactions, especially face expressions, blushing or pale in the face, laughter, tears, tone, tone of voice changing, different behavior, such uh, fight or flight, changing cardiac frequency, breathing rhythm, mouth dryness, sweaty hands, hair straightening, and so on. And emotion and body are linked. We have a lot of expression on that, like to have butterflies in your belly, to have tight throat, to have chills up and, up and down your spine, to have a knot in your stomach, to be short of breath and so on. Emotion appears naturally and automatically. We undergo the arrival. Why? Because emotion appears to give us a message. Emotions are, are like warning signal. They have two interests. First, they help they help us to satisfy a need and to they protect us from danger. We are going to see that just after. Emotions are linked to a situation and emotions are time limited. The difficulty would be to recognize the emotion. Most of the time, emotions are a mix between several emotions. It, require, it requires hard work to identify them. On a piece of paper, could you please write for each emotion what makes you feel joy, sadness, fear, and anger on a daily basis at work? Joyful laughing with colleagues. 
in person so seeing the empty corridors. Thank you. Thank you for your sharing. And then, uh, yeah, there are system not working. Yeah. Angle systems are not working. <laughs> yes, so true. We had this this morning. <laughs> yes. Thank you. The IT, yeah. Let's see one by one these four basic emotions. Let's start with joy. Swimming, petting, petting my cat. This is nice. Mm. Mm. I cannot finish everything I have to do. This is very, very common emotion. Was ist das hier? Muss das in die Küche oder was? So joy, joy is an indicator of what no. gives you pleasure on what's important to you, vital for your well-being. When you identify that you feel joy, you have an information on what makes you feel good. You have a need satisfied. What are the benefits of feeling joy? First benefits is to access pleasure. Joy is a key emotion to access pleasure. It raises pleasure hormones like dopamine and it raises your level of well-being. There is a second benefit of joy. It's you are going to see it on a video for a better experience of this video. I am going to give you the link in the chat, the video, it's a two minute video. When you've seen it, just tell me in the chat that it's okay for you so that I can go on. The video is called Happiness Starts With A Smile. Hello? Yeah. Have you? Okay. I'm just, I'm waiting. just waiting that everyone has finished to to see the video. Ah, I, I okay. Then where is the video? There is a link. There is the link in the chat. Ah, okay. Haven't seen it. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Okay, and I saw some of you smiling while looking at this video. So the second benefit of, of joy um, is that it has a good, a positive radiation on others. This is an emotion that we tend to share 
with others. Let's continue to smile all together with a very simple exercise. So you can close your eyes and take a deep abdominal breathing. You can take a deep breath in and a long breath out. And focus on your breath. And then smile. Smile to yourself. Be full of gratitude for yourself. Smile to yourself. How do you feel? Can you feel joy on yourself? You can share if you want in the chat. How do you feel right now after this exercise? Smile has a great power. Okay, thank you. Not really. This, the video was more useful. Okay, thank you for this sharing. The, the power of smile. Research, researchers at the University of, Con of Kansas found that the act of smiling has a positive effect on our happiness and physical health, helping the heart recover more quickly after a stressful event. Smiling reduces stress. Smiling is good for you, good for your brain, as smiling raises hormones, pleasure of hormones. And each time you smile, you send a feel-good information in your brain. The act of smiling activates neural messaging that benefits your health and happiness. And it's good for others. If you smile at somebody, they will most likely smile back. Okay, thank you for the other the other sharing. Smile is a body reaction to joy as laugh, emotional tears, wet eyes. It reacts also inside your body. Positive sensations in your belly and you can feel your whole body active and excited. On your piece of paper, you wrote something that gives you pleasure that give you joy on a daily basis. Could you write what's your need satisfied at this moment? For example, if the coffee morning with your colleagues is a moment of joy at work, maybe it's, uh, it's, um, it's by video, but maybe you, you have coffee morning sometimes with your colleagues. If it's a moment of joy for you, what's, what's your need satisfied at this moment? Maybe it's friendliness at work that is important to you. Just write what this need satisfied. Let's talk now about sadness. Sadness is the inability to feel joy and cheerfulness. When we feel sad, we feel no energy. Everything is dark. Sadness is an answer to a situation when we miss something or when we have a lack of something of someone, when we lose something. It helps to protect ourselves by withdrawing into oneself, a protection against more physical and physiological difficulties. What is one of the benefits of expressing 
joy, uh, sadness, sorry, to others. Let's have a look at the following pictures and tell me in the chat, what do you feel when you see these pictures? Sadness, empathy, compassion. Absolutely. Thank. <laughs> Discomfort. Okay. When when we see someone crying, most of the time, it raises our empathy to the person. When we are sad, we need support and we need comfort. That's absolutely what you said. So when we feel sadness, our whole body is reacting. We can feel a lump in our throat. We can feel short of breath and emotional tears. On your piece of paper, you wrote also something that give you sadness on a daily basis, can you write what's what the missing, uh, what's the need that is not satisfied? For example, if you uh, if you work uh, evenings and weekends for a file that you send to your boss, and um, your boss don't give you any answers, maybe you will feel sad about that. And maybe your need is to have more gratitude about, about your boss. Just, just write your need. And just a word about the power of tears. Tears appease. When you cry, it helps your body to release tensions. Tears help for self-regulation. It generates protein and hormone eliminations that are in our tears. It's a natural sedative that raises well-being by relieving physical and emotional pain. It supports relaxation and facilitates recovery. Following a strong emotion, crying would decrease sadness from 40%. Not really in our culture, but it's good for our well-being. What about fear? The benefit of fear is to pay attention to a problem or a potential danger that threatens us. We could see it as a positive emotion because fear is very useful. It's a warning danger alert, so precious for life. Fear can be real or imaginary, but the impact on our brain and our body is the same. We feel fear to protect ourselves and find a solution. There are two kinds of threat, of threat linked to our survival. First is our body, body life. Protect ourselves from injury. And the second, um, the second is identity life. For example, when ego feels threatened, um, when there are mockery, uh, we feel fear because of our identity is threatened. Fear gives information on our need to be, our need to exist. It allows us to find solution to our life from physical and mental dimension. The three main reaction when we are confronted with fear are to run away, to, to fight or immobility, body and mind. it's a body and mind protection. When 
we are in immobility. There are two physical reactions when we are confronted with fear. First is cardiac frequency is accelerating. You can feel heart palpitations. You can feel nausea or muscles are contracted, has to prepare to run away or to fight. Shallow breathing and feeling of oppression. That's the first reaction. Another reaction to fear can be heart frequency a heart frequency slowdown, which can generate fainting, slow down breathing, which can generate respiratory distress, or muscles relax, generating a paralysis like state or wobbly knees. Let's have a look at this following video. I am going to share you the, the link in the chat. It takes two minutes also. If you have finished to watch the video, you can tell me in the chat so that I could go, go on. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Clara. Good. Thank you all. On your piece of paper, you wrote some that, some, something that Scare us, that scare you or give you fear on a daily basis. Can you write what would satisfy this fear? What the need you need to satisfy to appease your fear? And finally, the last basic emotion, which is anger. Anger is the warning on our own limits. It gives us information on what's really important to us. It gives information on our values. When we feel anger, it means that we have a need that is not satisfied, a need that is frustrated. Anger is most of the time destructive. But destruction, if I can say that, doesn't help to nourish your need. And you feel more and more anger. Anger 
gives a lot of energy, a lot of negative energy. And tells us about the need to exist. It helps us to protect ourselves. Anger pushes our body into a state of aggression. Stress hormones like cortisol are raised when we feel anger. Our body is preparing to fight or flight. Physical reactions are cardiac frequency is accelerating, blood pressure, mass dryness. It reduces the range of view and the clarity of sight and the top of your body from the head to the end is surreactivated by this emotion. Anger tells us about ourselves. It's important to listen to the message and analyze it. Ask yourself, what does this mean? I feel that I have anger. What does this mean for me? We are going to see the last video about anger. This is, this is in French. If you don't understand, it's not a problem. I'm sure you, the message is very comprehensive. And please tell me when it's good for you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Christine. If you if you haven't seen it, I will give you the link at the end of the presentation so you can you can you could see it after. Okay, Michel. Good. Thank you all. So, 
same exercise, uh, you probably wrote something that give you anger at work or on a daily basis. Um, could you please write um, what the need that is not satisfied, what value that is really important to you that is not satisfied at this moment? Um, I think about the IT problems uh for example may, maybe uh, the need is uh, may, maybe it reflects some professionalism or that we want that everything are efficient or something like that we have equal treatment uh, the need for justice and justice, discrimination, respect. Mm. This, huh? mm. Mm. Yes, you talk about lack values. of control. Yeah. Yes, you talk about values. What's really important to you, and it's it's great. Thank you for these sharings because it reflects what's important. What's important to you, and it's great to identify it. It's great to understand what the reason of this anger good we have seen the four basic emotions the next step the next stage when you have identified this emotion that appear to you the next stage is to accept this feeling. Confronted with the daily situation, we all undergo our emotions. They are information from the deep inside you to accept them. You can do several things. First of all, just welcome with kindness and no judgment this emotion. And then listen to your emotion and question them. Where do these emotions come from? What does, does it mean? What uh, does it mean about myself? Just question it. You identify an emotion that comes, you question it. Then I invite you to trust your emotion. The emotions come from you. You can trust them. They are authentic. And authorize yourself to be just humans. You think, you feel, you act. So let's respect your right to feel emotions and your wholeness and hurt body. And finally, just let yourself go. Emotions drive us when they appear. You don't know have control of them at this moment, at this moment of arrival. So let yourself go. And then accept the presence of your emotion. After you are going to take control of your action and your reaction. And you can talk to yourself. Okay, I see that uh, you're here. Um, it's like that. I'm go. I'm gonna go on with you. There are two, two, two stages. The first stage, the arrival. You undergo the arrival. You can't control. You don't have control of the arrival. So let go and accept. Let yourself go and accept, and then when you have accepted your emotion. So you can react, you can take decision, you can, you, can, um, you can act, you can act. Acceptation is really a turning point, very, very important. And now, once you have accepted, you can express your emotion. What happens in a work or home environment 
that don't allow emotions. It's usual to observe this following behavior. First, to turn away. To turn away is a technique to avoid feeling the emotion. It's when we immediately turn, turn our attention to another thing. Emotion and the excess of energy is not evacuated when you turn away. Second reaction is to react. Reaction can be positive or destructive according to the emotion. The excess of evacuated emotion. The, the third behavior is to resist. It's when you silence your emotion, you keep it deeply in you, you know, like a balloon that you would like to put underwater, to keep underwater. Emotion and excess of energy are not evacuated in this situation. Emotion are energy, positive or negative energy. When you feel a strong emotion, you have a great energy within yourself. To find emotional balance at this time, it will be important to evacuate the excess of energy, whether it's positive or negative. To access emotional balance, it's important to do something with your emotion when it overwhelms you. And that's it exists four main and powerful actions to evacuate this excess of emotion. First is to tell, to write, draw, and breathe, and, and another actions possible also. How to express your emotion? It's really important, the target to express emotion is to, is to get it out of you, is to get the, the excess out of you. We have seen that emotions represent a need. Joy give a message about a pound of satisfaction and sadness, fear and anger give a message about a need that you have. For example, when you feel anger, you can ask yourself what the message. With your children, for those who have children, when you repeat every day, several times to your child to put his shoes on, you repeat once, you repeat twice, and nothing happens. Maybe you could feel anger. What could be your need at this time? Maybe it's to feel respect, need to be on time, need to be listened. Just explain your need to your child to give him sense. You will probably feel lighter. How can you tell your emotion? You can express your emotion. Just you, you say what you feel. I feel sad. I feel fear. I feel anger. I feel joy. You can also express your need. My need is to be listened. My need is to be respected. Express your need. When you are overwhelmed um, with, sad, with sadness, for example, uh, you're in a meeting with your colleagues and you feel sadness, you can just share you can you you can say i um you can observe that this subject raises me a lot of emotion when you are when you feel angry it's also the same could be a good um, a good uh, mean to express it so just tell what you feel just tell it you can also write it. You can write it on a piece of paper, just for yourself. You get this emotion out of you when you write it. It's the same when you draw your emotion. You can draw on a piece of paper 
what does the fear look like? What the worst thing can happen? What is so terrible? Where you can feel your emotion physically in your mind, the impact on yourself. Just draw it. Because when you draw it, you get it, a part of your emotion out of you. Very important for a lot of things, it's uh, breathing, of course. Um, taking abdominal breathing is very useful to evacuate uh, negative emotion, especially, especially anger. And of course, you can also, we have seen it, you can cry. Um, you can also smile, as we saw. Uh, authorize yourself to show that you feel joy or that you feel sadness when you feel in a secure environment. And uh, when you're alone at, uh, at home, you can scream, you can eat on a pillow, you can do sport, everything that will allow you to evacuate your excess of energy. We have seen how to recognize the different emotions, how to accept them, how to express them when they overwhelm you. Um, what do you realize about emotion? If you can share in the chat. Or if you don't want to share in the chat, just ask yourself, what do you realize? We should know how to handle emotions. Yes. Thank you. Yes, it's something that can be learned, absolutely. And um, it um, requires training, practicing, and it really works. Oh. Mm. Yes, it, it's very hard work to, to recognize your emotion. But ask yourself, when you feel something, is it, is it joy? Is it fear, sadness, anger? And sometimes it's a mix of that. Some emotion are hard to control, yes. When it's hard to control, you have to evacuate the excess of this energy by breathing, by drawing, by writing it. Okay, good. Thank you all. Thank you all for these sharings. So for, for now, what do you do to manage your emotions. On your piece of paper at the beginning of the, uh, of the presentation, you wrote some situation that um, give you joy, sadness, fear, and anger. Uh, could you please write uh, your personal action plan, what you would like to do about this situation to, to, to express your emotion or to manage your emotion. What can you do? Just, it's just a work for you to have an action plan and maybe you would like to, to breathe. Maybe you would like to express and tell your, your emotion. Maybe it would be to evacuate by doing sport or just write something for you to better manage 
these emotions. manage one's emotion it's to it's to practice um, a routine a ritual and it takes time practicing and then you will see the benefits and you will feel in better um, emotional balance you'll feel better thank you thank you christine Well, in conclusion, just before concluding, do you have any questions? We have some uh, some sharing uh, uh, in the chat. Uh, Alexia, if you if you if you allow me, uh, for example. Uh, action plan. It's okay if I don't know control everything. Uh, this is because sometimes uh, there are uh, another colleague, uh, colleague uh, that wrote that, that didn't know that she could or he could. I don't. I don't remember uh, express the emotion because we were taught to not to not express our emotion. Yes. The, the, and after that, we have also, can I give, can you give me example, one example of such a personal action plan, for example? Ah, okay, okay. Um, for example, um, for example, at work, um, there is uh, something that, uh, that make you uh, angry, for example, make you angry. That, that make you angry. Yeah. Um, so, so how to angry express it? because of IT systems, for example, to take the example. Also because of the colleagues, then the behavior or ah, you, the you're action. angry. You're angry mm -hmm. because of colleagues. Okay. The first step is to recognize this anger. Um, to recognize that anger is coming. Um, and once you have identified it, you can ask yourself, what does that mean? What's my need at this moment? Because my colleague make, makes me anger. What's my need? Maybe he makes me anger because he hasn't listened to me, for example. And my need is that uh, he listen to me when I'm talking to him or to her. I think that um, a good way is just to tell, tell it to the person, to, say, to, to stay in the fact as uh, presenting the situation and just to say um, in, in front of this situation, I feel anger because my need is to be more listened. You don't have um, the, the, power, the power of his reaction. Maybe he won't change his behavior, but it depends only on him. But what depends on you, what's important to you, the important for you is to feel good and to feel in emotional balance. So that it's important that you can act and you can do all what you can. Um, and my recommendation, my advice is just to, to explain and to express just it's um, only what you can do at this moment to find emotional balance because you have expressed it. And then you will see um, maybe your colleague will change his behavior, maybe not, but you, you, you will feel in more in emotional balance. Is it clear? Now for me it's clear, but I don't know for others. <laughs> Sometimes feeling angry comes from feeling unsafe. Ah, this is interesting. 
uh, action plan, yes. try to understand what another person needs by giving time and maybe after having had a good breakfast. <laughs> this is nice. Mm. Sadness, yes. you have to accept it. It does not depend on you. Anger, you question, you question it and try to do something. This is the, the, the advice of other colleagues. It's, so it's nice to see that, that you try to share and to, to advise others. Mm. Uh -huh. Just to, to take the example, uh, um, when, when uh, Marileta, you said that sometimes feeling angry comes from feeling unsafe. Um, so it's very interesting. You feel, you or someone, we can feel anger yes. because we feel unsafe. So what's, what's the need at this moment? The need is to feel safe. Yes. What do I need to feel safe in this situation? In this situation, it's important to question yourself. What do I need to feel safe at this moment? And then, when you identify this need, you mm -hmm. can you can take decisions and you can you can act yes. one step at a time. One yes. step at a time, yes. absolutely. Yes, it's a it's like a process, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's really difficult to integrate this yes. process, yes. especially at work. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And most of the time at work, emotions are not allowed. True. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yes, it's difficult. That's why it's important mm -hmm. to be to feel good with these feelings with yourself. You won't change your environment. You won't change mm -hmm. your colleagues. But the important is that you feel good. You yeah. feel an emotional balance and it's important to think of you at this moment. Yes, yes. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Mariletta. So uh, sometimes um, uh, we are to, we, we, we were taught to, to be professional. What does it mean professional? Yes. Professional, it means that you don't, you have to control your emotion, not only to be professional from the technical uh, side. Um, so, Sometimes it's not very easy to control your emotion when you have to, for example, be in front of your team or your director and you have this uh, one of the emotions that you are you know, overwhelmed, overwhelmed. So maybe then we can use a trick such as to smile or to start with a not very conventional uh, way of being, saying, how are you or, oh, even sometimes it's good to recognize, oh, I'm very upset because I missed my train, but wow, I'm so happy to see you now. Then you have this kind of the, you know, the connection differently and you leave your body and you leave you to, you allow yourself to, to find the relaxation and to, find a balance. This is what is my experience <laughs> because I am a very emotional person. So um, this is uh, what we have to practice. Um, but this is my, 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 my lesson and my advice. Thank you. And this is a good example. Yeah. Just to express it, just to express it. And find a way how to express in order to not uh, put the others in the not very comfortable situation and comfortable situation. This is this is the, the question of practice and you know to the feeling how to, to how to cope with different uh, different people and you know that we are uh, working in the very multicultural um, environment. So we have to really be careful and to to respect the, the others with the values it's the way of being expressing etc etc for example if you uh if you say hello and you 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 you, you just uh, give a hand on, on the shoulder of somebody saying how are you for an italian it's okay but maybe it's not the same for another nationality so it's we have to be very careful mm -hmm. yeah Marilette, well, in the complex I, I, environment you are yeah. in complex environment, so yeah. Okay. Okay. So we are going to conclude. If you have just one word 
um, one word conclusion, about this yes. conference. Just your conclusion. Thanks, Yael. Thank you. Excellent presentation. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Share you. Yes, we will share. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. We are still reassuring. Thank you. I really learned a lot. Yes, requires a lot of training. This is another story. It's not simple. Hyper incentive person, it's not simple to deal with emotion. It's true. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we are all very happy to see that you are happy. <laughs> yes, you, absolutely. You, you just, it, it was not very easy to treat this subject because it's very, uh, I mean, a, a lot of um, things that we can work on. But today it is the, the overview and, 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 and just a general way of how to deal and some exercises. But you can exercise at home. And of course, we can organize. You can find yourself after having this uh, reflected. What can I do? How can I deal with this? This is the uh, inspiration to this this conference. It was the the, 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 the way to, to give you the possibility or inspire to reflect on and to improve and to, to improve your, your work. Uh, your, your behavior on, on, on how to deal with the different uh, in the different situation with different persons. So thank you a lot, my colleagues. It was great, Alexia. Thank you very much. Thank you.